Hey guys, it's King Shadow John here, back at it again with another Minecraft video. Today we're going to be doing a walkthrough for uh, Halo 5 on Legendary for noobs. Because Hokey Bird doesn't want to do his walkthrough on Halo 5 for noobs, so I'm going to do it. So before I get into the gameplay for this campaign, before I get into the walkthrough, there are some a few crucial things that you need to know about this uh, campaign, about how it works, uh, in order for it to not be so frustrating. I know Halo 5's campaign is retarded because of its story and its marketing and whatever, but the campaign is actually very fun to play uh, compared to Halo 4. And this is definitely not the best campaign ever in the Halo series, but it's, it's bearable, you know, especially if you know what you're doing. Uh, they did a lot better with Halo 5 gameplay-wise than Halo 4, and... Uh, so I understand that you have to go against a lot of Prometheans in this in this campaign, and it it can get pretty frustrating. But if you know how uh, what to do, how to uh, work with the game, then you'll be just fine. So now some crucial points that you need to know in order to make this campaign less frustrating. The AI may seem retarded, you know your your stupid uh, companions or whatever your squad system that you have. It may seem retarded, but it's actually very useful if you know what to do and here's another crucial point that you need to know if uh, you are so bad at the game that you need a walkthrough and for whatever reason you want to get through this game on legendary and you need a walkthrough for it uh, if you're so bad at the game then do not play this game with your friends if they are just as bad as you or even worse because they will not help you at all uh, I, uh, you know, the creators were all like, "Oh, this is a co-op based game. You got to play with your friends." But you know, it's not true at all. You'll you'll be much better off with your crappy AI than with your friends who don't know what to do as much as you don't know what to do. <laughs> and here's why, and this is why, because the AI, the computer AI, uh, actually has more health than actual players on Legendary. They don't die as fast as regular players. They make some pretty good meat shields. They have unlimited ammo and you can tell them where to move and what weapons to pick up. You can tell them to pick up a rocket launcher and they'll use that rocket launcher sometimes. The only bad thing about it is they don't use it all the time. And you know, it can get kinda, kinda weird. You're using that SMG from 60 feet away when you could be using that sniper rifle I told you to pick up earlier. Or you could be shooting that rocket launcher at that night instead of shooting it with your crappy plasma pistol that for some reason you still have. But anyways, and, and so that's basically it. Do not play this game with your friends if they're just as bad as you or even worse than you. You're way better off with the AI. They make pretty good meat shields. Uh, they have more health and they'll come and revive you whenever you go down plus they don't complain whenever you don't get to them in time or whatever when they go down they just die and you know they're all like oh okay I'll respond in uh, uh, 30 seconds or a minute or whatever Spartan Lock. I have spent enough years with Oni to know the truth. Once this is over, after all I have done, they'll order you to kill us both.
Fire Team Osiris. Over the last 72 hours, five colonies have experienced identical events. Massive destruction, forerunner in origin. And Dr. Catherine Elizabeth Halsey has managed to contact us. She claims to have information on these attacks. Halsey is currently in Covenant custody on the surface of Kamchata. Your mission is to insert behind enemy lines, retrieve Halsey, and bring her back to Infinity. Be advised, Dr. Halsey is accompanied by Covenant Supreme Leader Jewel Mdama. If you have the opportunity... Understood, Commander. Good luck, Spartan Lock. Infinity out. Cracking gear online? Affirmative. Say, before we make this jump, anybody want to say a few words? I figure if God can hear how scared I am, so can everyone else. Lock, you buying first drink when we're done? You ask, you buy. <laughs> Fire Team Osiris, the light is green. Uh, the first mission of this game you're mostly gonna stick to the right side of the map and uh, you're gonna tell uh, tell Osiris to be in the middle or in the center you know just stick with headshots in this first part there's a bunch of crawlers and grunts and stuff you know not nothing too difficult and jackals and whatever So I'm telling him to pick up these weapons, but I was actually just t trying to tell him to move up. But in all honesty, it's okay if you, uh, you know, tell him to pick up some weapons or whatever. It, they'll probably be more effective that way too. And, you know, here I'm showing you uh, how, you know, as they move up, they are going to, uh, you know, the enemy's going to focus on them more, and uh, they'll actually be able to take out uh, some enemies like that. I, I was only able to take out like one crawler there and there was four of them and they were able to take out uh, you know all of them except for you know that one crawler so they were able to take out two crawlers <laughs> that's something that's still better than my other friend I completely forgot about uh, these crawlers here don't don't waste a plasma grenade like I did just just uh, 
to shoot him in the head or whatever. Uh, I go ahead and uh, go ahead and trade out, uh, you know, your weapons and stuff. Here, get ammo or whatever. I tr I tried to kill these knights, uh, not these knights, these soldiers here, but uh, it doesn't work. You can't really kill them. So, anyways, for this next part of the mission, it's the uh, same thing. You know, stick to the right side of the map. And um, and uh, tell your guys to stay in stay in the center of the of the map. Don't pick up that storm rifle. It's pretty useless against Prometheans. You're better off with the uh, you know Promethean uh, suppressor because they actually uh, they target uh, critical spots. They home in on critical spots, which is pretty useful. Okay, so as you go on the right side of this map, like I said, you know, clear this out real quick before you tell your guys to move up. And this crawler just snuck up out of nowhere. I mean, almost got me. And, uh, at, you know, as you are, I go ahead and trade out my uh, pistol for that. But as you move up, and if your guys are in the middle, they're more likely to be able to get to you if you, you know, stay close to them if you end up going down. So, you know, you should, you should remember to be active in telling your guys to move up because they will be uh, very useful in, uh, you know, just staying ahead of you, basically. The enemy will focus on them while uh, you uh, sneak around or do whatever you need to do, get, get ammo or whatever. So this is a really good advantage spot. The only problem here was that I got snuck up by that crawler. I have no idea where he came from. But here's an example. They're not too far away. <laughs> but Tanaka ends up going down anyways. But they're not so far away that, uh, you know, they can't uh, get to you in time. And like I said, you can control their movements. You can tell them what to do. Tell them to pick up weapons. Actively tell them to pick up weapons. Act actively tell them to get in front of you. Or even just revive teammates for some reason. That crawler pissed me off earlier. So I decided to go Spartan charge you. Make sure it didn't sneak up on me again. I don't know. For some reason, I think that was Buck. Just now, he decided to come up here with me. I know I'm not showing it. But really, listen to what I'm saying. Tell your guys to move up constantly. And, you know, of course, don't send them out into the middle of the field because then they'll have no cover and they'll, go, they'll end up going down as well. But, uh, but uh, you know, you, you, you place them smart and do whatever. If you place them smart, <coughs> then they'll be able to help you and they'll be able to take out enemies and stuff for you take out a crawler or two or even a soldier and sometimes uh, just taking off that simple heat is good enough you see you, if you heard that just now Tanaka ended up taking down a soldier or at least you know destroying his armor and I don't know what was going on there why I wasn't getting any critical hits there but uh yeah, you know, the gun usually homes in on those critical points, but for some reason it wasn't doing anything there. You better off just shooting it in the head. This isn't a very good spot for cover, and, you know, I'm just glad that the AI was actually has enough, uh, you know, health to pick me up. But this place, you know, like I said, the right side of the map is pretty good. You got, you know, you have the high ground, you gotta get the high ground in most of this, uh, most of this campaign. And most of the high ground is on the right side. No one will be able to get you on the high ground. And, uh, you know, tell your guys to go down so that they can take out enemies as well. And, you know, just clean up whatever you can. There's a carbine and stuff up here. Some other stuff too. You know, collectibles. But, you know, that's a video series for another day. I kind of get careless here, and I think I jump down. Do I? Oh, all right, never mind. I thought this is where I got, you know, killed by one soldier. 
Jewel did it. No idea when or why. Reckon it wasn't an argument, or he'd have cut off her head instead of her arm. Door sealed tight. Forerunner security station. Must be in lockdown. Any way to lift it? The Artemis can analyze Forerunner systems. Might be a way to override this door. This Artemis thing, one of your old Oni toys? Similar. I convinced Commander Palmer to outfit us with prototypes. Don't have too much patience for that, Locke. Systems analyzed. Looks like there's an override switch near the top of the roof. Let's see. This should do it. Door is open. The Artemis did the trick. Look, listen to this. They are assaulting the back of the temple, bringing the Kraken. Kraken sighted! Hold position. Buy more time. Jewel's getting desperate. How'd you learn to speak Sanghili, Vale? When I was a kid, I was stuck on a diplomatic shuttle adrift in deep space for six months. My options would be real bored, or spend the time getting smart. Now the whole map, you have been uh, staying on the right side of the map, getting the high ground. But this time, you don't actually want to stay on the right side of the map, you want to stay on the left side of the map. Because the Kraken is actually shooting down on the left side of the map. What I should have done here was, uh, you know, I actually go down here. This is a terrible place. Okay, that, that spot where I was on the right, that where I was trying to... <laughs> I totally accidentally shot to knock it down. The spot where I was trying to climb up on the right, that's where you want to go. Uh, at first, you know, take out the crawler and the soldier there, take out the few crawlers and soldiers there, the jackals and the elite there. And then after that, then you want to go to the left side of the map and get the high ground. You want to stay on the high ground. <coughs> nah, I couldn't save myself. This is why you want to go on the right side first because that way uh, you can take out the crawlers and the, you know, you see them shooting over there at me? I would have been able to take them out if I had gone over there first and then gone over here. <coughs> but good thing that guys on the turrets were able to take down this wall for me so I was able to run through. Here I am on the left side. Left side on the higher ground. Here's another tip. Uh, on the left side, or once you have the high ground, you can throw grenades down. There you, go, you know, they're on the lower ground, so uh, they're more likely to get blown up by your grenades and stuff. So it uh, makes it a little easier to take them, uh, take down their armor, and then shoot them in the head. I'm just blasting through my ammo here. But, you know, there tends to be plenty of ammo up here, I think. You know, now that I think about it, I'm not sure if the weapons on the crates are actually randomized. <coughs> so I accidentally fall here. There's actually some more uh, ammo in that ice cave that I was just looking at, but... I really don't want to go down right now. I want to uh, stay on the high ground. I still want to have the high ground at this point. At this point in time. There's the cracking. I think it's actually possible to shoot the turrets, the shade turrets over there, but, uh, you know, I gave up after a few tries. You got plenty of cover here, so long as you, you know, manage yourself, and if you go down, your allies are right behind you, able to, uh, you know, help you out. This part is actually kind of tricky, because if you go down here and you tell your guys to go down, uh, go down there to fight off the Prometheans, then uh, 
you know, it's actually a long way up to where you're at. So if you go down, there's a possibility you might die if you end up going down there. <coughs> so first thing you want to do is take out the, sh the turrets. You can take this one out with your gun. It only takes like three shots from the uh, Promethean light rifle. Once that turret is down, you want to jump down here and take out this turret as well. I like to throw a couple grenades at it, try and get it, but I end up missing both times. But if all else fails, you can just shoot the turret down. It'll be fine. Your guys are also doing some pretty good work. Remember to utilize their abilities, tell them to go after certain targets and whatnot, and help them out by... Uh, shooting other targets as well. I can appreciate the gameplay in Halo 5 even if this, the game and the story is just terrible. You actually do want to take one of these turrets with you. It'll help you with the next section. And this is where I go down. Because I got, I got all cocky cause, since I had the uh, big ass turret. <coughs> Hello? Julian Dama is an opportunist, not a leader. It was only a matter of time until his version of the covenant started to break. Well, it could stand up break a little faster if you ask me. Julian Dahmer sounds interesting. I wonder what's going to happen to him. Nice. Oh, he got killed. You can kill this knight instantly as soon as the door opens just by throwing a grenade at it. You know, one knight down. Great job. So what you want to do right here is stay up here and shoot down at them with the, uh, with the turret. I actually go down and I actually die one time. I go down a few times and I die one time because uh, I was trying to get some footage about some exploits when it comes to the knights and stuff. But basically all you really need to do in order to kill the knights is shoot one of the orange orbs and then shoot shoot them in the head once they, uh, once they react. Or you can stand up here and just shoot them with the turret like I'm doing. It's a little easier. I uh, try to demonstrate some of the tactics you can use against the knights uh, and I end up failing miserably in most of these parts because of that. Uh, what you basically want to do here in this part is just stay up here where I'm staying and snipe them from above. That's the easiest way to do this. Don't go down there and start shooting them up because you know they got shotguns, they got their one hit melee and stuff like that. But here are some exploits for knights. Whenever the occasion arises and you need an exploit, this will help you out. When a, when a knight is charging at you, for some reason the knight doesn't, it just doesn't want to much rather just use their shotgun. They'd much rather charge at you with their one hit melee uh, kill. But uh, when a knight charges at you, after they swing, their mask flaps open for a second. And... Um, when that happens, if you get a clear shot in that mask, uh, you know, it's an instant kill. It doesn't matter how low, how high in health they are, it's an instant kill. And, uh, you know, that's just a really good exploit. Also, uh, ground pounds and spartan charges stun a knight. So that way, uh, like I said, if that occasion ever arises where you're up close and personal with a knight, you need to get away or you need an opening or whatever, spartan charge them real quick. You know, especially after they um, they swing for their melee attack, uh, you know they they basically uh, they they have to recover after a little while, and that way you can use a Spartan charge or a ground pound or something to stun them for a little bit. That'll give you an opening. It'll even finish them off depending upon how low in health they are. <coughs> but uh, but 
Uh, those are basically a few exploits that I learned uh, when it comes to dealing with Promethean Knights. Like I said before, just stay up here. Uh, don't go down there. Stay up there. Don't go down there. Uh, because they have shotguns, they have their uh, blades and whatever. You're better off staying up there. Throwing grenades or whatever that you need to use to your advantage. So those are a few exploits that you can use for the Knights. I guess you can enjoy this clip getting my entire team killed by just one night so anyways guys that's basically all you need to know for this video in order to get through legendary I'll, I'll go ahead and leave you uh, I'll let you watch the rest of this gameplay uh, you know I completely uh, ignore my own tips and you know I go down there I try to face them off or whatever that's mostly because I'm trying to get footage of me uh, you know exploiting the knights and whatnot you know but uh and in all honesty th this is what like one of the things that 343 learned from their mistakes you know it's not uh you can tell when a knight is about to melee you can tell when they're about to shoot you know they'll stand there in silence or they'll screech or whatever they'll throw a grenade or spawn a uh watcher and that way you can know what's up and whatever so anyways guys, this is that's all you basically need to know for this gameplay, for this walkthrough. I'll go ahead and leave you to uh, watch the rest of the gameplay and the uh, final cutscene, but that's basically it. So I'm going to go ahead and stop talking for the rest of the video. So um, I know I did, but, but I... Okay, that's all you need to know for this video. However, I'm going to maybe talk about a, one more thing. So I know I started on Halo Combat Evolved's uh, Legendary Waxer, but uh, I'm not. I'm going to finish it eventually. I don't like to finish my gameplays or my walkthroughs, but I will this time. I promise. It. But first, I'm going to finish Halo 5 because there are, you know, a ton of walkthroughs for all the previous Halos, but there aren't that many, you know, proper walkthroughs for Halo 5. They don't. They don't give you step-by-step -step instructions like uh, Hokey Bird or something. Hokey Bird only wanted to do Halo 4 for some reason he doesn't want to do Halo 5. Don't tell him I said that though, I don't want him coming after my ass. <coughs> I don't want him coming after my dumb ass. I don't want him coming after me. I don't want him roasting me. I don't want him showing up at my door doorstep in the middle of the night with a copy of Halo Reach just to shove it down my throat. I don't want him to show up at my doorstep in the middle of the night with a Xbox uh, Halo 5 edition and, and just give it to me, you know. I don't want him showing up in the middle, middle of the night at my doorstep, you know, like, uh, uh, I'm gonna kick your ass. I don't want him showing up in the middle of the night just to shove a Halo 5 controller down my throat. <coughs> I'm not going to use any of this audio. So I promise, uh, I'm basically I'm just going to work backwards. I'm going to finish Halo 5 first, then I'm going to go to Halo 4. Then I'm going to do Halo Reach, Halo 3 ODST, Halo 3, Halo 2, and then Halo 1, finally. And, and I'll throw in some Halo Wars in there too, even though Halo Wars